Oh god, no. That's not what I want. I don't- I don't want to open light shot. Hey everybody, it's me Lappy, and welcome back to my channel for the first episode of a brand new series. So we are going to be playing the Black Widow Challenge, or at least my own little spin on it. If you don't know what Black Widow- what the Black Widow Challenge is, there are a few different versions of it going around, so I decided to just make my own. But it's a challenge in which you start- you have a female young adult sim who must marry multiple rich sims in order to get her money. She's not allowed to work, she's not allowed to do much of anything. Kids can be had at your leisure, etc, etc. It's- I am just putting my own little spin on it. So here is our black- Widow Fantine Guillard. I will explain her backstory in a minute. First, I wanted to explain my rules. So, rule number one, we are not allowed to have a job or do anything for money aside from romance people. Rule number two, um, we have to have ten husbands or wives by the end of the series, which I'm planning on being 30 episodes long, so we just need to get married once every three episodes or so. It shouldn't be too hard, especially if I get going quickly and don't worry about whether or not we're taking it too fast or anything like that. And rule number three, she's not allowed to, um, Actually, I forgot what rule number three is, but we can have as many kids as we want. We can have them whenever we want. It just needs to, like, not... We can have pets if we want. We can do whatever we want. It just has to, like, not interfere with the challenge. So, like, if we want to fall in love, have one lover through a ton of different generations... Not generations, but a ton of different, um husbands we can do that we can basically do whatever as long as we don't work for money and as long as we um have the 10 spouses so a little bit about fantine she is she has the serial romantic aspiration she is non-committal evil romantic and alluring she's a young adult she still has 24 ages until she ages 24 ages. She still has 24 days until she ages ages up. She doesn't have any skills right now. She doesn't have any relationships. Her inventory is empty. She's basically like a blank slate right now. So, um, she's living in this little starter home for right now. It's very small, very cheap. Not her style, like, at all. Uh, yeah. This is just a little starter place while we romance our first husband, which is going to be Vlad Stroud. He is our first um, target, you know, the ugly vampire man out in Forgotten Hollow with the big house. I figure he should be our first target since he doesn't have any kids, he lives alone in a mansion. You know, there are no ties we need to break. Uh, my Discord keeps going off. I'm sorry. Uh, yep, it's the one friend who hasn't left me alone in like a week. But okay. So let's go ahead and get started. A little bit about Fantine's backstory first and foremost. She is French, as you can probably tell from her name. She was born in a small town in France. And, um, she wasn't raised there, unfortunately, though, because her father was organ was involved in organized crime, and he ended up having to flee the country when she was a little kid. But she was always taught about the history of France, about pretty much everything there was to know about her home country, and she ended up falling in love with it. So she wants to earn enough money to move back to her ancestral home. And she wants to earn the money she needs to learn the language. She already knows the language, but, like, she, basically she's born in France. She doesn't live there anymore, but she's obsessed with the culture and wants to go back, hence why she's doing this. She also um, has trouble with empathy. She always has since she was a kid, so she doesn't really care about anybody's feelings but her own. 
she's a very selfish, very manipulative person, though that might be attributed at least a little bit to her um, father treating her badly as a kid and her mom being distant and all that. Basically, she had a bit of a rough early life and that kind of led her to where she is now. Okay. Now that I've explained all that, we're gonna head out to Forgotten Hollow and start trying to seduce Vlad. Uh, we want to get our hands on his house and his money, and we are going to seduce him to do so. Um, I already tried recording the beginning to this series, um, hence the thumbnail. Um, but the game crashed after about 10 minutes of playing, and I cried because that was the first episode I ever did of this series. But um, if, you, if this is the first video of mine you're watching, I should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Lappy, I'm 18, and I'm obsessed with The Sims. I'm also gay. But okay, here we are in Forgotten Hollow. I really like this world, and I really like playing with vampires, but I don't really want to make her into a vampire. So, we probably won't end up doing that, though it does kind of seem like her style to be all vampy and creepy. I don't think she wants to, like, subject herself to being any less than perfect. So let's go ahead and find Vladdy Boy. Life has many doors, Vlad Boy. And you're hiding from me. Where are you at? This house is so ugly. Okay, he's down here. Let's go ahead and give him a friendly introduction. We're going to have to work to get on his good side. I'd at least like to start dating him today, if not, like, get engaged. But we're going to have to have the wedding, like, in the next part if we do end up getting engaged. Because, um, I want to throw a wedding party and we're already, like... Let me see. We're already seven minutes into the episode, so we probably won't have time to do that, and I don't want to do a really rushed wedding party. So let's just go ahead and start trying to get a bit of a green relationship with him first. I feel like we should do that before anything else, because he has that stupid vampire trait that makes it so that he starts with a negative relationship when he meets new sims, and that is deeply annoying. Let's not debate the existence of vampires with an actual vampire. But yeah. He's gonna be her first husband. We'll probably end up killing him by sunlight because my own challenge to myself is to kill every single spouse in a different way. So, like, I can't exactly starve more than one husband or wife to death. I can't burn more than one to death. I can't drown more than one. I just need to do them, um, like, in different ways. I'm hoping he doesn't have the, um, sunlight resistant thing about him because I will probably cry and have to figure out a different way to kill him that involves turning him into a human and none of that sounds fun if I'm being honest with you but I'll I'll get there when I get to it uh, there are probably other ways to kill vampires I hope they're not totally immortal they just don't age right god he's so ugly like, how is he so ugly? Let's just work a little bit more on our friendly relationship, and then we will go ahead and flirt. So let's go ahead and compliment his appearance. Let's offer him a rose. Let's just work towards our relationship with him a little bit, and at least start dating, if not get engaged. Uh, let's make a vampire pun, I guess. 
What other way to a vampire's heart other than making puns about his kind at him? You know, my throat's starting to get dry from talking. This is the third video I've recorded consecutively without breaks, so and that's fun. Just keep working on your friendship with him, ask about his day. I really want to get this out of the way, and then once we've um, gotten him entangled in our web, we will <coughs> we will go ahead and find our second victim, I think. Maybe the really rich guy out in Windenburg would be a good idea. Or maybe, um... Jeffrey Landgrab, since we could easily kill his wife and kid. As messed up as that is, please don't stop liking him just over the hissing. I'm trying too hard for this. I'm trying too hard, Fantine. But if you did not couldn't figure out Fantine is based at least in part on Widowmaker from um What's my favorite game called again? Overwatch. Yeah. Because she's my favorite character. She's part of the inspiration behind this challenge. Although not all of it since obviously she actually liked her husband. Okay. Something didn't go well. Ask about evil vampire history. Oh god, please. Please. Don't do this. I'm trying so hard. Just do a self-deprecating joke. She doesn't have any form of low self-esteem. She thinks way too highly of herself, honestly. But she's trying! Apologize to him? Uh... How did this go so terribly? How did this go so wrong so quickly? Like... <sighs> Why is he so hard to seduce? He was so easy the first time I tried to record this video. Like, we were dating him within 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes into the video we were dating him. And now he's pulling this on us? This is rude, Vlad. Vladislav Stroud, this is rude. Discuss your evil plans with him. Tell him a dramatic story. Just make a vampire pun. Just do something. Anything to fix the situation. Okay. Ask about his day, I guess. Tell him a funny story. Tell him a couple of funny stories, actually. Ask about his day. And then let's try flirting again. Just a little bit. Then tell him an engaging story. Then tell him a joke about Martians. Just try to fix it. Compliment his outfit. I'm speeding through this now because I'm just trying to fix it. Brighten up his day. Compliment his outfit again. Tell him an engaging story. Tell him a dramatic story. Get to know. Uh. Make a flirtatious joke. God, stop hissing at me. This is hard. Oh my god. Discuss some interests. A couple times. Get to know. Ask about his day. Oh, he's a music lover. How nice. Ask about his day again. Deep conversation. Brighten up his day. Tell him an outrageous story. Compliment his outfit, even though it's awful. 
Kiss his hands, maybe. Tell him a funny story. Tell him an engaging story. Don't queue up a bunch of romantic interactions at once, Slappy. It doesn't go well. Give him a hug. Okay, he's into it. He's into us. Though being real, how couldn't he be? We are a very attractive young lady, and he is a very lonely old man. I don't care how badly you need to go to the bathroom. I'm cheating it up. I'm not leaving until we have successfully wooed Vladislav Stroud. Go ahead and take a picture together. Then embrace him. Anji. Not that he's gonna show up in your pictures with him. Why do you want to yell at him? Brighten up his day. Brighten up his day, I said. Gossip, I guess. Tell him a dramatic story. Tell him an engaging story. Tell him an outrageous story. Compliment his outfit. We're trying. Deep conversation. Discuss evil plans. Tell him another outrageous story. God, this is hard. Compliment his appearance. Offer a rose. I really want a woohoo in a coffin. Make a flirtatious joke, I guess. Embrace. I don't even care about where we propose to him as long as we propose to him because you know I deserve this I deserve nice things and to be able to get my Black Widow engaged in the first episode of the series ask him to be your boyfriend now be an evil evil power couple until he dies Seriously. <laughs> Yay, they're dating. Now go ahead and romance propose. He better say yes or I'm gonna die. We literally just met, but will you marry me? Yay! Okay, that was easy. There we go. Okay, we're dating now, and we will have our wedding in the ne in the next episode. Uh, but I want to... Okay, we probably ought to go around... And meet some other rich people so that we actually have people to invite to our wedding. Okay, so... As soon as we've had a couple of conversations with Vlad... Let's, okay, now let's go ahead and travel. Okay, this was quick. We're moving quickly, but that's alright because we are time constrained and trying to have ten of these happen, you know? Okay. So what rich people are we, are we going to rub elbows with first? I should move people into the bigger houses. Uh, maybe the goths. Because they're like high society, right? Any rich people in San Myshuno? Oh yes, there are rich people in San Myshuno. Diego Lobo actually could be our next target because he is also a single man in a big place. So let's go meet him. Uh, we will make sure that we at least know our next target and he can be like our only guest to our wedding. We're gonna have to make do, I think. Like, we're gonna have to meet more people than that. Just, like, have some filler people at our wedding. 
I'll introduce ourselves to the goths off camera, I think. Okay, um, or I could just cheat and summon them. I can just cheat and summon Bella Goth if I wanted to. Which I might end up doing. Go knock on the door. So you can say hi to Diego. He's your next husband after all. Ooh, I've never been inside this apartment, but I kind of like it. Okay, where are you, future husband? Hello, there you are. In your terrible, terrible suit. Go ahead and give him a friendly introduction. God, he has a terrible high-pitched voice. <laughs> dag, dag. Dag, dag. Uh, brighten up his day, I guess. Get to know, just get a tiny bit of a friendly relationship up with him. Brighten up his day. Flatter him. Get to know. No. Dude. Dude. Rude. Rude. You have guests over. Oh, this place has a nice view. Ask about his career, I guess. Just get a tiny bit of a friendly relationship off with him. Just a tiny bit. If there's about vampires, I guess. Tell him a dramatic story. Get to know. Tell him a gross joke. Tell him a funny story. Oh man, okay. So let's go ahead and cheat to summon Bella Goth. Summon Sim. Oh god, no. That's not what I want. I don't, I don't want to open light shot. Escape! Oh man. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on over, Bella. So I can meet ya. And introduce myself to you. And have two guests to my wedding. And I am also going to flirt with Diego Lobo behind our husband's back. This is... fun! I'm actually already having fun! The game better not crash, because I will scream. We are so close to the end of the episode. I just want to meet some people, okay? Okay, so, where's Bella? I did summon her, okay. Let's introduce ourselves to Bella Goth now. Because she's going to be our rich friend. Oh my god! Okay, go ahead and talk to Bella a bit. Then ask about Diego's day. Gossip, I guess. Uh, brighten up the day, and then I am going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, then. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I post new videos every single day, so if you'll check in tomorrow, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye!